ESA's Mission Control has hosted many exciting missions, but none, it is fair to say, like Rosetta. And mission controllers and scientists are now hard at work studying the comet to prepare for a landing in mid-November. When the spacecraft's fillet lander begins its descent to Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko history will be made. Together with data from the Rosetta orbiter, the lander will provide unprecedented science and insights into our solar system. Choosing the right place to land is therefore crucial. Since going into orbit around Rosetta in August, five potential landing sites have been identified for a comet whose appearance resembles a space duck. The shape of the comet is definitely a bit unexpected. I consider it at the same time fantastic. It's a unique object. On the other side, it has posed us some headaches in finding proper landing site because of this unusual shape. Each shortlisted site is 1,000 meters in diameter, relatively smooth, and has the right communication and illumination conditions, as the lander needs sunlight to operate and recharge its batteries. The bottom of the comet won't work, for instance, because it spends too much time out of sunlight. One site will be chosen as the nominal or primary site, with a second as backup. All comets are dynamic, hurtling through space and releasing gases and material when nearing the sun. And this unpredictable activity could prove tricky. The day we will do the landing, we will not know how the comet is behaving on that day. We cannot do weather forecast of the comet, we cannot do activity forecast of the comet. And this is what is posing the highest risk for the whole operation. The lander's descent must be controlled slowly and with precision. Once on the comet, the ten onboard instruments will be busy and the science on the surface can begin in earnest, imaging the local landscape from the surface, analysing its composition and drilling beneath the ground, all for the first time. Landing on a comet will be the cherry on the cake, as the orbiter's 11 instruments have been busy since May, and Rosetta has already produced more science than any other mission to a comet, and 67P is of great interest. Scientifically, it's very entertaining. It has aspects of a number of different comets wrapped into one, so it, it offers so much for us scientifically, but also it's a massive challenge technologically. So this has been our realisation in the last few months. It's really coming home. Rosetta is now within 20 to 30 kilometres of the comet. The more detail it collects, the more information scientists have to ensure the site they've chosen is the best one possible. It's a decision that will determine the continued success of an already successful mission.